Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to another Elgato tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over the new Elgato 3.0 software beta. Lots of crazy stuff. We've got Twitch alert notifications, browser capture, live streaming capture. We've got green screening. We've got all kind of crazy stuff to go through today. And I know it's kind of meta because I'm actually here in the Elgato using that program. You can see me move all this around. Oh God, I've doubled. <laughs> it's getting kind of crazy. But yeah, one of the cool things they added is that when you're streaming, you can actually green screen yourself. I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, I'm not going to save any changes. We are going to click the button down here if you have beta, add your Logitech webcam. Now, unfortunately, I do not have a green screen because I don't. Just I don't stream like that. Some people do, though. But you can come here to the remove background setting, and when you click that, it's going to default to green. Yeah, see it defaults to green, but it's not doing anything because there's no green. If I want to pick my color, let's say I want to remove my shirt. Let's remove, oh God, <laughs> there we go. You can change the tolerances here to make it lighter, easier. We'll, uh, we'll basically do it kind of like this. It'll be like an 80s thing, and I'll have a mostly see-through shirt. And there we go. And you can, yeah, you can see straight through my shirt onto the PlayStation background. If you had a green screen, you could do the exact same thing for the green screen background. But let's fix it. Let's click Edit Scene again remove background. We'll probably leave that off for this tutorial, but not only can you do that for a shirt, kind of like this, but you can do that for literally any type of project. Gonna make myself smaller for the next bits. Yeah, I'm gonna put myself up here in the top right hand corner. Alright, so let me show you how to do Twitch alerts so you can have notifications when you're streaming with the Elgato software. The first thing you need to do though is actually sign on Twitch alerts, set up your donation, and have that open in the little green screen box, which we're gonna hop over to the other window so I can show you. So this is my other window. You can see that I'm on Twitch alerts. I've gone to the donation page. I have it set up. I have a second monitor, which is why I'm looking sideways. And I have this big green screen box here so that when I hit, we'll say, test donation. The heart is Oops. the strongest muscle. I've minimized it because I'm a genius. There we go. Dancing Shark. That's the one I use on my streams. You've probably seen it very often. What we're going to need to do in order to make this work is you copy this URL right here in the browser. And then in the Elgato program, we're going to have to go, we're still in the edit scene mode, so we haven't changed that. We add a new scene, and we're going to go to add a web page. You guys can see I've already been playing around with it. You can paste in the URL of the web page, and you just hit add, and you will see that it adds here kind of, it green screens these by default. So thankfully, it's just already set to work pretty fine. I'm going to hit save scenes, and it looks clear like it's doing nothing. But when I hit the test donation alert the again, is this look at that, dancing muscle. shark. And of course, I can grab him and move him wherever I want him or however big he needs to be. I want everybody to see these donations, so I can do it like that if I want to. Very easy, very straightforward to do. Let me show you one of the other fun new things. You can add GIF images to your stream that just kind of play on loop or run in the background. Some people like them for animation purposes. Let's go back to edit the scene again. We will click down here. And so I've done this before and I make the mistake. If you want to add a GIF, you do not go directly to add image. You actually add a web page. Let me see if I can do this again. Add web page and actually prefer to browse and you select the file websites. Now we want images and it kind of like you reference the file and what the Elgato program is going to do is basically open it up in their own custom browser and then use that to load, <laughs> to load your own custom image. I can't stop laughing image here. And there we go. We now have a fat doggy on our stream along with the webcam. And if I want to get the donations as well, those just kind muscle. of pop up and do their own thing. It's pretty straightforward in a lot of ways. Very easy to do. But again, when we're here and we're editing scenes, I just want you guys to know, do not add GIFs in the add image. That's for static overlays, PNG, JPEG only. Add images through the web browser uh, or through the web page function. And if you want to add videos, you can add WebM files right now through the add web page. You can have like an actual intro and outro that you can play at will if you want to. I think they're working on MP4 for later, but it's WebM for now. Let's close that down and save scene, whatever. We'll keep our fat dog up. So this is designed for streaming. When you set up your stream, one fun thing you can do is you can save your stream exactly as it is, exactly how you see it here with nothing changed whatsoever. And to do that, you click on the hammer under your stream tools. This will pop up and you want to check enable stream copy. When you do, when this is enabled, it will save the stream exactly how we see it, with the donations, with the sounds, with the GIF, with all that. However, if you uncheck this, 
what it does is it will save your overlays in your webcam, but it will not save donations, it will not save text, it will not save GIFs. It's more of a much cleaner live commentary if you want just that. So it's kind of your choice and uh, just do even while you're streaming at any time you can always use the record function here to kind of move back and forth and it'll record everything on the stream with the exception of the GIFs and the donations. Those are stream only unless we've enabled the stream function. So <laughs> just wanted to make that very clear. A few other little fun features. We now have global hotkeys that we can program in. You can do anything you want. In case you have other programs running you can just kind of pop in your global hotkeys and that's kind of it for now. I went through it really fast, but it should be fun. It should be interesting. You guys should be able to do a lot with this. It's all about customizing it. So yeah, the goal with the Elgato software is that eventually they want it to all be in-house here. They want it to kind of, for you to not have to use OBS or XSplit and for them to be able to doing everything. And these are just some steps along the way. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. And if you use the Elgato, I hope you download the beta and check out some of these features. Drifter out.